Well, hello. It is December, um, I want to say 17th today, Tuesday. And it's my last um, kind of time off from work for the next five days. So I wanted to um, kind of jumble some videos together because I've made a few. I'm going to try to get some off my old phone. If not, then this one's going to have to um, do for now. So I kind of wanted to talk about um, yeah, my yesterday. I um, signed adoption papers and um, as much as I want to get into the subject, it's still really fresh and um, for myself and for the protection of everyone involved, I'm going to kind of just leave things quiet for now, but I will be getting more into it and more into uh, my reasoning behind it and my feelings about it. So um, as you can see, I'm like all dressed up. No, I'm not really at all. I'm sitting on my front porch, which my mom has decorated for Christmas time because it is the time. And um, she really loves decorating for Christmas. I'm not a huge fan of it, but I used to like it when I had a place of my own. Um, so I'm really looking into tiny houses again, yet again. And I have to find a solution. Um, I have to figure out what I want to do. Do I want something mobile? I think I definitely want something that I can pull, not necessarily with the vehicle that I have now, which is the Subaru, which can pull, um, but not a ton of weight, but something that maybe in the future I'd want to pull on a truck if I needed to. Um, I could even rent a truck and, you know, park somewhere. Anyway, I kind of want to get the ball rolling on the whole tiny house thing. I just don't know where to start. I know where it's going to be located at my mom's house in the back. Um, I guess I need to go through zoning and all that. So I guess my question to anyone that's done it is like, how do I start? And I've been watching videos for years and years and years about people um, making tiny houses like, you know, with all recycled materials and all that stuff. That's kind of what I want to do. I want to go the least expensive way. I want it fully self-sustaining. So, um, of course that's going to be a little bit expensive as far as like solar power and things like that. Um, but that's not something that has to be done right away. So I can take my time with this. So I'm really looking forward to it. I don't have any shoes on. I should probably go in the house and get my shoes real quick so I can kind of show you where it's going to be located here at the house and there's my mom and she is decorating dyed my hair black what do you think i don't know say hi 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 who is it youtube it's just youtube see the whole house is decorated this is my decoration it's cute right yeah yeah everything's decorated but let me see if I can quickly put on some house shoes uh, I'm, my room hasn't really changed much my office has it was transformed into a nursery but now it's not going to be used for that so um, I'll let you see it, but, <laughs> but um, you know, it will be my office again soon. Um, just so everybody knows, this is a good thing. It's not something that I'm upset about or um, like, sorry, <laughs> that's being done through social services or anything like that. It is completely 100% me and um, and her family. So anyway, 
moving on from that, like I said, I would. This is the giant backyard that we have. This here is the shed that needs to come down, which is about to come down anyway. As you can see, it's really, really about to fall. There is um, some stuff in there that we need to get out like before that can happen before we can, you know, demolish it cuz I'm excited for the demo on this. But yeah, there's some stuff going on in there. So, it all needs to come out demo and preserve what we can for the tiny home which is going to be located right here behind me in that little area. Then there's a little garden over there that we can kind of go into if we need to. I have a feeling it's going to be further out in the yard. So, you know, like where I'm standing to there, it's kind of hard for me to give you that view, but it's going to be further out into the yard and probably not much bigger than what's there now that I look at it. <laughs> but it will be a home it's going to have a front porch it's going to be a home so i'm really excited about it and just got to get some plans together and i think that needs to be what my focus is right now to kind of take my focus off of other things in life um that have pulled me back down for a little while but now i'm back up and I'm feeling good and um, just want to get back out there as far as social media and meeting new friends and networking and all that. I really had a, a good time and I really enjoyed it last time and unfortunately my um, addiction brought me to a terrible place but there was some clean and sober time within you know the last couple of years where I haven't been on YouTube much of course I was pregnant for nine months and I was clean and sober through that whole thing I was not on methadone at that time I've only been on methadone for 30 days uh, a little more than 30 days now and um, yeah so anyway I kind of lost track of where I was going but tiny house that's where it'll be so close to my mom's but you know maybe it'll be something we can travel together with I don't know it would be kind of cool if we could make it that way so that's still kind of my focus just wanted to touch base with everyone and kind of start this page up again and you know just get my face out there and show everybody my black hair that's like I put a treatment in it so it's like really greasy right now too I <laughs> don't even ew I just ruined this whole video with that I really did because it was awful that was an awful thing to do I'll cut that out Blech. Blech. Ugh, that's so annoying that I just did that because it is but it is what it is and I'm just gonna use the video anyway because that's what it's supposed to be about right yeah okay well anyway till next time peace yes that is a refrigerator we just got a new one that one's gonna get um, taken to charity and anyway peace and my hair is not that bad it's just a treatment you know shea butter Lavender. Smells good. Love you. Smells good. Love you.